Good evening. More than six hours after an evacuation here in Scarborough, fire crews are still battling a massive blaze inside the Agent Court Recreation Center. Toronto Fire received this call at around 4.45 p.m. And since then, we've really seen the scene growing. Now, initially, they said, or later this evening, they said that they're now operating this as a four-alarm fire, but it's been upgraded to five just because of the additional crews they've had to add here to the scene. And the weather is ch posing some challenges. You can see right there the smoke just billow billowing out from the rooftop here. And so this weather is adding more challenges. It's making it difficult for the crews here at the scene. Though luckily, no injuries have been reported, but the building was quickly evacuated. People in their bathing suits came running out into the freezing cold. As we were coming in, people were coming out, some in bathing suits and stuff. And we thought it was just uh, somebody pulled the, pump, the fire alarm because there was no smoke or anything when we first got there. But then as we were coming back out, we saw that the, that the rooftop was starting to smoke. The recreation center on Glen Watford Drive near Midland and Shepherd is one of the busiest in the city and was operating at, uh, operating uh, during the time flames broke out. It's unknown how many people were inside the building at that time. The fire chief says the fire seems to mostly be in the roof, but the frigid temperatures have made things more difficult with equipment freezing up and firefighters having to deal with icy conditions. A number of aerial ladders and water streams were brought out to contain this fire. The fire chief expects crews will be here throughout the night in defensive mode. We have ordered the evacuation of our crews from inside the building. That's a precautionary move given that uh, the vast majority of this fire appears to be above their heads in the roof area. So that presents a, a, a hazardous condition for them. Uh, as you know, there's both an arena and a pool in this facility. So uh, we're taking some extra precaution given the presence of uh, the chemicals that are associated with operating both an arena and a pool. We're dealing with a, with a fairly significant fire here. Um, it has, um, I, I believe that most of it has been visibly knocked down now, but it, it did extend through the roof. We had some, uh, some flame extension uh, to the exterior. So at this point, there's no chemical concerns. The hazardous material crews have been able to get inside and contain the chemicals uh, that the firefighters here were worried about. As I mentioned, and the fire chief mentioned, that the, these firefighters will be here throughout most of the night. At this point, they're looking at what options they have to get on this roof here. At this point, they also don't know as to what caused the fire and where it started. They say those are uh, questions and answers that will be coming in the following days.